and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Championless Undying. Played this deck about eight days ago or so, and it was a lot of fun. And so I wanted to bring it back. This was originally a viewer donation deck. We talked about how at the end we wanted to add in mist rates. We did that over cutting um, a few um, kind of ex more expensive top end cards. We put in some mist, mist rates. So we're going to keep doing that. Uh, the other thing that we had was like the three Blighted Caretakers was a little much. I'm going down to two, and I'm going to try one Stirred Spirits. This one Stirred Spirits could also be a Vile Feast, maybe, or a second Ethereal Remitter. Probably one of those three cards. I'm going to try Stirred Spirits, though, um, because Stirred Spirits is just so great with the Undying. And that's that's what we have here, is we have a the Undying deck. Because, um, <clears throat> you know, you just support the Undying, give it plus two, plus zero, and ephemeral and so it's just it's hitting for more you know like originally it would attack for four instead of attacking for two and then it dies and then it comes back as a three three it's just such a great combo and you don't have to support stuff you know you don't um you don't have to support these other things you can attack with stirred spirits and just have it be the far right unit and not worry about supporting if that um if that thing doesn't work it also is good though with curse keeper you know it's another great thing to support um, with Stirred Spirits is Curse Keeper. Or sometimes maybe you have like a Mist Wraith that's fearsome and they can't block it and you give that Mist Wraith that plus two for lethal. You never know. All right. Uh, <clears throat> one, a couple of cool things about this deck though is that we were really a possession deck. Like this is the, this is actually, you know, besides the Undying, this is the other card that our deck is built around. Like we're, we were stealing uh, enemy followers quite a bit and it was awesome. So like we would take like six mana Scythria and stuff like that. Um, we have some combos, you know, like we play, we have three Ravenous Butchers, so we're Possession plus Ravenous Butcher to sacrifice it, so just make, uh, just turns Possession into being, um, a five man of Vengeance, where you also usually get to attack with the Follower as well. Um, we have Glimpse Beyond that can sacrifice, but then also we're, we're playing a bunch of vulnerable stuff. We have Hired Gun, like we're splashing for Hired Gun and Sheriff Lariat Rose, because we want that Vulnerable. Vulnerable works really well with with our with those two cards. So possession, um, if we give one thing vulnerable, we steal something else. Then we have the thing that we steal can just attack into the thing that was vulnerable, and we can just have you know kill two uh, two birds with one stone there. And then also vulnerable is great with the undying, right? Because people don't ever want to block the undying, and so if we can give their stuff vulnerable, then we can have the undying attack into their stuff. Um, and uh and use the undying as removal and so that's definitely good um so yeah then of course we have wraith caller which is really powerful chronicler wraith caller got that combo chronicler undying combo um citrus courier can give us another attack step which is great with the undying you know you have you have like a couple undyings out you attack with them they don't want to block them and then boom citrus courier attack again that's pretty awesome so Bunch of good stuff, and then Ruination with Undying. So this is a cool synergy deck, lots of cool synergies, no champions, um, and it's a lot of fun to play. So hopefully did a good job describing the deck. We're going to go ahead and play some games over in Ranked. We're going to go play uh, We're gonna go play three games. Why did I say three? We're going to play five, for sure. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked like we always do. I guess we'll try to win three. <laughs> And win three out of five is always good. All right, so Ezreal Karma, usually all about removal. Um, just, this hand's kind of awkward, honestly. Let's get rid of these two. Uh, this also. We don't have, like, those are all... Okay, there we go. Um... Yeah, I just didn't have anything to really take advantage of that. Yeah, I live in the U.S. Back in the day, Escaped Abomination used to be a 4-4. Um... They're a really spell-heavy deck. They're, 
likely going to be using spells for removal anyway. The order rewards its faithful. So I don't mind. Oh, no spells for removal. I say I don't. I don't mind playing another thing before attacking. I think that's usually pretty good. Let's do that. I would love to draw the Undying. This is definitely a good the Undying matchup. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay. Um, probably gonna want to play Chronicler of Ruin. Do I wanna do that pre-combat? If I do it pre-combat, then the Undying's only a 2-2 that's attacking in, but we'd also have a 3-3 attacking in. We'll do that post combat. Yeah, let's do that post combat. Hmm. We could grasp our own Undying, and then they don't get a 3 2, and they don't get an Ezreal trigger. I kind of like that. Surprised they, a little surprised they didn't block. Oh, that's a harvest right there. A little surprised. Ooh, I like that. I need to emo more. I didn't want to see Ezreal. So Ezreal means I probably just need a vengeance. The Ezreal. Yeah. Didn't really want to see that. No way. Because I, you know, I would have rather played these two. No. Really do anything with that yet? Coins and It would have been great to have that, um, you know, the Stirred Spirits also. Because I could have gone Chronicler here with the Undying and make a 2-2, and then Stirred Spirits would make it a 4-2 and challenge the Chump Lump. Hmm. 
That's a pretty good possession right there. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I guess, I mean, I guess you, I guess you just don't kill the 3-2, but... Our deck is sweet. And this this game is really shows why our deck is good. So many cool synergies. I thought you'd never ask. So so much it's not bragging if you I'll give us another of the undying. I'll give us another of the undying. Firing. The thing is, if they don't, if they don't Mystic Shot that, then I wouldn't like one of my undyings would would have just gone away, right? Because I wouldn't have had enough room. But definitely figures they were going to be doing that. GG. They kind of needed to to try to level up Ezreal, I think, but it, at that point, we had gotten them. But yeah, so you saw like the cool combination of Hired Gun plus Possession. That, that's a good combo. Thanks, chat. Chat with a well-played. GG's. That was a sweet game right there. It's a good game to start the day off on. But today's Rank Up Sunday. Right. Rank up Sunday. Um, Mulligan that, Mulligan Glimpse Beyond? I don't mind Glimpse Beyond. Yep, I'm a partner on YouTube. Rank up Sunday. Escapes my watch. Huh. We uh, <clears throat> we kind of change our plan and go cursed keeper caretaker. Yeah, we have the dying now. Got some good threats. No. That was awesome for the opponent. We're about to hit him for a bunch of damage. How can Brom help? Wow. 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 Just, that's just perfect. this at all. I feel this over your best. So they're not worried about Vile Feast? Good luck. Yeah. Fun. Good. <clears throat> they were scared about Vile Feast. Grass. 
Spaß. So do we want to just sit back and make a whole bunch of the Undyings? Kinda. Kinda want to do that. Hey, Ferex, I'm doing great. No, I haven't played a good smooth soloist deck yet. Oh, really, Silent Eric? You found you found one? Yeah, if you have the code, I'll I would be definitely interested in trying out a silent a smooth solo deck tomorrow on meme tier Monday. So yeah, if you have if you have one that that you uh, like, let me know. I'm hoping this works, but even if it does, like it just kind of helps turn on there. Um, yep. I was gonna say it just helps turn on like rekindler and stuff like that. I wanted to try to make this und I was also like kind of planning on making that undying a five five with the chronicler and then and use hired gun with the five five. Return to us. Gosh, this is rough. I feel this should be friends. Safeguard our homes. This is rough. Can't, I can't just like, you know, higher gun goes to the, yeah, the strongest enemy. So I can't just choose Braum. All right, well, I think we found a weakness with the Undying plan is Braum. That really looks like a weakness here. Definitely looking like a weakness. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't have any. I don't have any good plays. Like, I don't, none of these are. None of these are good plays. Get bloody, so let's get play paid. this thing. Kind of want to save mana. To try to go possession chronicler together. Things dead. It is easy, see? Hmm. 
Like, I'd much rather face a Nivea than Braum, right? Like, a Nivea just, like, helps kill my Undyings and makes them bigger and stuff like that. Braum's a problem. Hey, Big Alfredo. Help is on the way. Okay, you're doing it with infinite Zephyr Sages. You are safe with Brawl. Infinite Zephyr Sage does sound like a meme tier deck to me. What will you have? A mug of your warmest milk, my friend. Four four die? No. No. Okay. Yeah, I'll check I'll check it out, Silent Eric. Thanks for the um thanks for the idea. Another one that is easier to play. Okay, yeah, a bunch of twos and cheap mechanism heavy. Insightful investigator. Sense. They really did. I kind of feel like they went overboard with Brom. I'm so, okay. So, full disclosure, I'm definitely somebody who wanted them to make Brom better. That I just thought the Brom wasn't playable at all as was as it was. But I think they kind of went overboard because now it's now it's, like, it's kind of miserable to play against Brom now. I think that either, like, making, just giving Braum the power would have, would have definitely made Braum playable, but giving Braum power and the Mighty Poro, I think could, I think they could have definitely done one or the other. Both of them was kind of overboard. And basically my only draw that keeps me alive is Ruination, isn't it? I guess that's all there is. It's just Ruination, so I might as well... Might as well make more Undyings instead of making more Wraith Callers. Playing two ruinations. So I, yeah, I just shouldn't have played higher gun. Okay. Let's go to the next game. I don't over to 
the next game. That first game was so good, and that second game, I mean, they just played turn four Braum, and I had, I could it could never deal with it. Um, yeah, the Braum was too good. It, that's a perfect blocker for the Undying, just absolutely perfect. Where does the word Brock come from? I wonder, I wonder where that word came from, or like, what, what is that, you know, what does that really mean? Alright, gonna try a whole new hand, there we go, that's better. Hey, core deck. I know, like, like, magic calls the word trigger, like, like, things trigger, and then Hearthstone calls it proc, things proc. And I just, I don't know where that, what that, where did that come from? Like the, how things trigger, that makes sense to me. But, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I don't have the Hearthstone background. Um, so, I know those mean the same thing. I just wonder, I wonder what like the origin was, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a ton of Karma Ezreal also, and, and uh, I don't really know the reason for that. But yeah, this is our you know second out of third. Second game out of three playing against Karma Ezreal. Um, I mean, could save Ravenous Butcher for Cursed Keeper. Also want to just get Ravenous Butcher in play. Oh, proc is from World of Warcraft, where things have a percentage chance to process. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. So that's and then a lot of Hearthstone players are from World of Warcraft, and that's where it it went over. So okay, so prox means process. Okay. Process. Thanks, Sage Mister. Just saving Glimpse Beyond for like these Undyings and Curse Keepers just kind of feel, feels like a better thing to do. It's too late for you. Master. The thing that I love about using Glimpse Beyond like that is it does keep, you know, does stop their Ezreal from getting another level up. So I either just sacrifice the Undying and then it's a 4-4, or I, I either give my Undying plus one plus one, or I have the Ezreal Yo. Know. So it's either 4-4 four, four plus three out of eight, or three three plus two out of eight. I think I'm gonna go four four. Nakano says it means programmed random occurrence. Okay, so not process. Okay. Programmed random occurrence means proc. 
And where does the C come in on programmed random occurrence? I guess I guess occurrence has a C. Programmed occurrence, put those together, proc. Okay. Okay, even so even though the proc effect isn't random necessarily, that's where it originated. Programmed random occurrence. So trying to get a dragonling to block with. So that's every single thermogenic beam. They're out of those. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'll take that. They've been leveling up their Ezreal real fast. Now they've gained the two life. priority if they want to pass also fine with me they don't they won't make a draggling yuck hmm want to kill that thing I do have to worry about Will of Ionia. Okay, I like that. Let's get Ezreal out of here. No way. Gonna make it more difficult for them to kill me without that Ezreal. They just got the three cards. You know, now four. I fight with my spirits, not my fists. Where there is life, there is hope. No, bad karma. Bad karma. Get out of here. Do the end 
dying is sweet. Um, if I just attack like this and they just like bounce this undying, we don't kill them. So maybe I just play Curse Keeper, Curse Keeper, Mistrath, you know, like play all these pre combat. I don't, I don't hate that. This gives them the ability to block. But they'd have to like block with champions because they have possession, so they'd have to play like champion to block with. That last card's pretty good. Conviction by force of will. GG's. Dude, possession has been sweet. And dying has been sweet. The only problem has been Braum. Braum, not cool. Everything else, cool. Yeah, so we played Karma S twice, and both of them were. Uh, real good games like that. Really showing the synergies in our deck. I just don't, I don't want to play against Braum again. <laughs> yeah, they did kind of over, they over buffed Braum. And I'm, I'm somebody that was like, I was beating the drum of they need to buff Braum, but not that much. Okay, Withering Whale can go. Probably, I guess, Lair Sheriff Lariat Rose as well. I'll keep possession. Ugh. We need sacrifice effects. I didn't. I don't want a second Curse Keeper. More than a dying man. So yeah, we need. We need just to draw a bunch of Ravenous Butchers. Yeah, let's just draw a bunch of Ravenous Butchers. Chronicler of Ruins. Glimpse Beyond. Higher Gun's not bad. That can pair with Possession. Take down Yasuo. No Butcher, no. Ugh. Again, more of the same. They cannot hide. We have just all payoff cards and no enablers. There is an enabler. Okay. Um, how do we want to do this? Do we want to use... Hmm. Then I can go that and that. Okay, so I'm going to go Cursed Keeper. See if they go Yasuo. Okay, no Yasuo. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Because if, if they went Yasuo, then we would make the Yasuo vulnerable. And then have the four three challenge. We obviously have like Will of Ionia or Concussive Palm or something like that. Sure. Okay. 
So the good news... Ooh, I like that. I like that card a lot. That's good against the Yasuo decks. Good news, the... the uh, Oh. Shadow Assassin still has Vulnerable, so um, I can Possession and steal the Tail of the Dragon and then challenge like that. Uh, I guess that card's kind of a problem. Atrocity, sack the undying, and kill Swain. They're tapped out right now. Or I simply play another of the undying, and then next turn, Ruination. I like firing this off while they're tapped out. I hope they don't have Deny for Ruination. No. Still have Deny up. up. You could be so no, I'll just get 5 drop. They just got one blocker. That's a tough spot to beat with one blocker. All of my four attackers. Oh no! That's a good card. That's a good card. I thought you'd run. Hmm. won't have room. Yeah, we don't really need the two ones. That's fine. So just four mana. Just four mana. Oh, I swear. Hmm. 
It's kind of risky because I'm not killing the Minotaur Reckoner, but we're going for lethal. No. They had the third Concussive Palm? I thought they already played two of those. I guess they only played one. That was kind of the only thing they could have because they, even if they had like a Will of Ionia, um, you know, like that wasn't good enough. They needed to do two things. That was like the only card they could have was like the third Concussive Palm. Hey, Dio. Well, darn. They did. That's okay. Still got this Ruination. Still got a couple of um, Undyings. And of course, Ruination will turn the Curse Keeper into a 4-4. Um, That's a value ruination if I've ever seen one. Gets rid of two six sixes and a five three quick quick attack on their side, and just a two one on my side, but also gives me a four three and you know turns my one one into a four three and also pumps up my other two things. And we're three and one. Yeah, they just couldn't really play around uh, Ruination at that point. Okay, so this is going to be a tough matchup of... Ooh. Oh, I kind of want to keep this, though. This is going to be an aggro deck. Um, you know, so us stabilizing against the aggro deck is going to be kind of tough. Need a two-drop. Curse Keeper... Curse Keeper would be the best card we could draw. Yeah, Dio's a big fan of the underscores. It's not a curse keeper. That's not a curse keeper either. That does make me want to not use Ravenous Butcher right away on the Undying. Slow start. Uh, I do not have a slow start. Um, man, if I don't play. If I don't play Butcher. They can go straight to combat, and that's seven damage. So that means I have to vengeance. Um, I was hoping they were gonna play the the six four. Like that was that's what I really wanted. I wanted them to play Basilis Rider. Obviously they have that. Why not? I wanted to play, them to play Basilis Rider, and I was gonna possession it, steal it, and then butcher. You know, like that's what I wanted. That would have been ideal. But 
this is the kind of matchup where Undying can be too slow. Oh, I, I should have played Ravenous Butcher still. I should have played Ravenous Butcher. Last turn, and then this would be a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, Possession is an all-star in our deck. There's so many cool things we can do with Possession. Hmm. I was too slow. If we both had another 20 life, <laughs> we'd be good. Probably. Maybe. I was... I was really greedy with not playing the Butcher on turn three. That was really greedy of me. I just don't love attacking into this Legion Grenadier and letting them deal another two damage to me. I don't know. But like, what's what's my other options? I don't I don't know. Possession, steal it, and then sack it. For the empire. For the glory of Noxus. Yeah, I'm not saying I had a good plan. I really need to do that on turn three. That was that was just being too greedy with the possession. My play was great against Basilisk Rider, but it was awful against open attack, and they just opened attack. Hey Biz, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Mind is the hand of Noxus. Your command, General Darius. GG's. We did beat... It, Noxus is an unwinnable. We actually did... The last time we played this deck, we played Noxus three times, and we won two of the three, and the, the one that I that we lost, I, I made a mistake in. Um, so it's not an, un, an unwinnable matchup. That was, that was a game, like, if we would have drawn a Curse Keeper and have, you know, like, Curse Keeper Butcher on turn two does give you a lot of, a lot of good blockers and stuff like that. Um, and then it sets up like the wraith caller you know then you have more time to get the wraith callers out and everything um but yeah i i should have should have gotten butcher in play turn three just to get a blocker that's my bad that's all right still a um a fun deck to play we'll take a three two got to do a lot of cool things like the the braum game was the one that was uh you know that that's a hard card to beat braum but um, yeah, there's a lot more Karma Ezreal around right now for some reason. Not exactly sure why, but this is a really good answer to the Karma Ezreal. So, you know, like, we're just on the next level already <laughs> with our Undying deck. So that was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. All right, we're going to have three new decks to play um, coming up here uh, next. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you're trying the deck out, like always, leave those comments. I always want that feedback um, about these decks and uh, everything like that. So thank you so much for watching some Championless Undying, and I'll see you for the next video. What's up? Sodium Brella with the sub. Thank you so much, Santa Biz. Thank you very much there, and uh, welcome, Sodium Umbrella. That's a cool name. And enjoy all the awesome emotes. Um, Okay, uh, oh yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching.